Hello and welcome to the Price Academy bite-sized history videos. This video is introducing Emma of Normandy. Emma of Normandy was the Dowager Queen of England and she died on the 6th of March 1052 in Winchester. She was the only woman ever to be crowned Queen of England twice. For 50 years, through the reigns of her two husbands, her two stepsons and her two sons, she was a significant figure in English politics. Emma's first marriage in 1002 was to King Ethelred II, a widower with 10 children. Several of them were adolescent sons who must have been more than a little alarmed to see their dad take a new bride who was young enough to be his daughter and who would likely give him sons one day who would vie with them for England's throne. By 1013 England was at all out war against the invading Danish king Swain Forkbeard and losing. Emma was forced to abandon her English properties and flee to Normandy with her children. There she persuaded her brother Duke Richard II to offer refuge to her husband and her children at his court. Swain died suddenly though in early 1014 and Ethelred invited back to England ousted Swain's son Canute and the remnants of his Viking army that were scattered all across the kingdom. Emma returned to England as well but in 1015 the king had some of his powerful lords murdered and his eldest son responded by rebelling against him. The Danish prince Canute seen here determined to win himself a kingdom returned with a massive army. In 1016, King Ethelred died and Emma's stepson Edmund now was the king. He took up the fight against the Danes. When Canute laid siege in London, Emma was trapped inside the city. King Edmund Ironside lost a major battle at Assendon in late 1016 and died soon after. In mid-1017, Emma married Canute, the victorious new king of England, and her second reign as queen began. Emma made certain her children by Ethelred, Edward aged 12, Godfrey Duke aged 7, and Alfred aged 4 were given refuge in Normandy with her brother. As queen consort and advisor to Canute, and as a patron to churches and abbeys in England and in Europe, Emma was even more powerful during Canute's reign than she had been during Ethelred's. According to Emma, it was a marriage of equals. Canute and Emma had two children, Harthur Canute and Gunhill, but Canute was already married to Elfgudava of Northampton, who had given him sons, but they were lurking somewhere in England or Scandinavia. Emma had demanded a prenup from Canute guaranteeing that any sons she might have would be his heirs. But when Canute died in 1035, only one of his sons was in England, Elfgavar's boy, Harold. What happened is interesting. The English magnates decided to divide England in half. Harold Harefoot was given the north of the Thames to Guthin and Emma to govern as regent for half a Canute in the south who was in Denmark defending against the Norse or Swedes. To complicate matters, Emma's sons by Ethelred arrived in 1036 to stake claims to the throne and the outcome was disastrous. Alfred was captured and killed by men loyal to Harold. Edward fled back to Normandy and Emma, driven out of England by Harold, had to take refuge in Bruges. King Harold Harefoot conveniently died in 1040 and half a Canute seized the crown aged 22 with his mother Queen Emma offering support. 
Emma was now mother of the king and once again a significant force in English politics. By 1041, Harthur Canute invited his half-brother Edward, the confessor, to England from Normandy. Emma was a powerful political figure, second only to her sons. She signed charters and she commissioned a book, as you can see in this image, telling the events in England from the war with Sven Forkbeard to the beginning of half the Canute's reign. In 1042, half the Canute died and Edward, almost 40 years old, became the sole ruler of England. However, Edward did not want any help from his mother and in 1043 rode to Winchester and confiscated the royal treasure and ordered her to live a quiet life. However, she was back in court by 1044, but after 1045, Emma's name disappears from the witness list indicating she decided to step aside. Emma outlived all her children except Edward the Confessor. She was buried at Oldminster in Winchester next to Canute and half the Canute and when that building was pulled down her bones were preserved with others in mortuary chests in Winchester Cathedral as you can see here. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to like it and subscribe and you can follow me at Twitter at Little Miss History 81 at Tanya Alex 38.